Well, good morning, everybody. It's me, Mitch, in the kitchen, dressed for the cold weather. <laughs> today, today I'm going to just talk about a few miscellaneous things. Yesterday, yesterday, I decided that I needed to make some ribs, and I had out in my outdoor freezer some big racks frozen of full-sized pork ribs, not baby back, not St. Louis, but full-size ribs. I baked them in the oven, very simple. Trimmed the excess off of them, baked them in the oven, 275 degrees. I let them in there for about four and a half hours till they came up to over 200 degrees internal temperature. I baked them each on a sheet pan this big, after they cooled, when I put them out, I went ahead and stacked them up and put them in the refrigerator. And this is what I got. I got me some ribs. Look at these. They kind of stuck together, but there are two racks of ribs here. Look at these. Look at the size of these. Wow, wow. And... I'm going to vacuum seal all but this, and I'm going to eat this as my first meal of the day. It's thoroughly cooked. They actually, when I broke them apart, some bones actually fell out of them. That's how fall off the bone these things are. So we're going to vacuum seal these today, freeze them. There's at least five, maybe six meals here. These are big ribs. And I'm going to just simply, I could finish them in an air fryer, but I'm going to see how this works. I'm just going to take this rack. I'm going to stick it on this plate here. I'm going to cut them individually. Just cut them up. They should cut very easily, I would think. If I find the center of them, here we are. And I'm just going to trim these, cut them into individual ribs so I don't have to cut them up when they're hot. And I'm just going to microwave them and see how well that comes out. And I'm going to stick this in the microwave. I'm going to start it out in about two minutes and see how it comes out. If I don't like the way they came out of the microwave, then I can always bring out the air fryer. So we're just going to set this for two minutes, let them cook. And in the meantime, while they're cooking, I'm going to bring out my WeVac CM12 or CV12, one or the other. It's on my Amazon links. Still get the 15% off on these commercial. Turn it on. Set it to medium sized bag and let's see let's get some bags out here let's portion these into serving sizes I think I think that this right here would probably be enough for a meal So I'm just going to take one of these bags. This bag may not be big enough for all this. Let's see. See if I can put it in here. If it fits, it might, it might just fit into this one bag. Wow. It's a little tight, but yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. And it's popping in the microwave. I do have some bigger bags, but the idea was to use the, the smallest bag I could find that it suits. So this is one one meal. We'll set it in the in the WeVac over here. Put the uh, put the edge under the clip. Shut the lid and let it vacuum seal itself. Meanwhile, 
are they hot? They are hot. Look at that. Wow, yes. Look at this. Beautiful. Looks like a great meal. So what I'm going to do is taste it. Let's taste it and see just how these came out. Let's start with this one. A lot of meat. Oh, man. Mm. That's one. Boy, are they good. They came out really good. I used a little smoked salt, not too much. They're salted perfectly. They're juicy, flavorful, and, and it took no time to make them. And I'm going to have five or six meals out of these ribs. Put them in the freezer. And over the course of the next month or two, I will eat them. Didn't take me long at all to make this. I didn't even bother filming, taking the ribs to throw them on the racks, stick them in the oven. But these are good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Excellent. Okay. So that's, that's pretty much it. It's just that easy to prepare portion and prep some meals. I think another another bit of rib. Put it in with this to make sure I have a meal out of it. Perfect. Back in the Weevac. And let me just take a minute to talk about what Amazon's going on, what Amazon has going on right now for Black Friday. I found this morning, I found four of the items on my, on my page that were uh, on a Black Friday sale. So I made some community posts. So go to the community tab if you want to see those posts. There are some great deals, especially on that EcoFlow backup power thing. That's at 60% off now. 399 bucks or something that retails for a thousand bucks. It's crazy. It's crazy. At any rate, keep looking for those things. I'm not dwelling on it, but over the next few days during this uh, Amazon Black Friday sale, if I see something that looks like a very good deal, like the Mueller Pans. $22 and change. It's never been that cheap. Buy two of them at that price. Put one away. They are the best frying pans on the planet as far as I'm concerned. And that's what most of the people that follow this channel have agreed. They've agreed that those pans are indeed fabulous for 20-something bucks. Anyway, there are, some, there are some good deals to be had. So keep an eye out for that if you, if you would. I think you'll find that uh, if, you, if you were thinking about buying any of these things, now might be the time. So, short little video here. Me and my ribs, I'm going to finish packaging these. May have to cut them into smaller pieces to fit in the bag, but that, my friends, that's a meal right there in the bag, in the Weevac. I can't say enough about this Weevac. It's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it's not that expensive for something that does what it does. And it's so easy to use. You can vacuum seal liquid in it. You can do all kinds of things. So that'll be it. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I'm going to eat my ribs. 
finished vacuum sealing my ribs for the freezer and then take the rest of the day off and eat meat. <laughs>